video, we're going to show you one of the best concepts in Madden every single year. It is the sale concept. We're going to be using it out of the bunch formation, and this is going to be able to play corner strike. Now, I'm in New England's playbook today, um, but we really, uh, you can, the same exact play exists in Gun Bunch Offset, or Gun Bunch, and you can create this play out of Gun Bunch Offset if you have a slot apprentice. The biggest thing, we're re biggest purpose of calling this play is we have this outside receiver on a corner route. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the slot receiver on a fade route, and then in order for this to be kind of a sale concept, we're going to give ourselves a backside check down over the middle of the field like a drag route. And the primary read is this high-low on the right side. This corner route right here, as long as they don't run into each other, which is the worst feature of Madden uh, right now, but the bumping is absolutely insane. And um, if they don't run into each other, uh, that route is going to be consistently uh, wide open against really any zone coverage. Cover two, cover three, cover four. Um, you're going to be able to hit that corner route consistently. So again, let me, uh, most people, they run cover four, they're going to be base aligning it. So what you'll see here is he's going to go, corner route cuts outside. The fade route will pull the deep quarter zones back. And uh, you see there we have that nice little pocket to throw the ball. Now, what some people will do and is they will play essentially cloud flats on that outside. So if they do play cloud flats on that outside, I do want you to see we can always check down to the tight end if they're not respecting the fact that we have a tight end flat route. The other cool thing about bunch is you can utilize a whip route. And what the reason why you might want to utilize a whip route is because let's say, for example, they're playing some cover two, the whip route will run, and then you'll see that cloud gets really pulled back, and you can throw that whip route as well over the middle of the field. Now, uh, as far as cover three goes, pretty much the same as cover four. So uh, we're going to you know, fade or streak the slot, and then this corner route will get kind of over the top of that purple zone, and you can hit that against coverage uh, every single time. Okay. So the one thing they can do to kind of counter this in terms of a zone defense is they can play cover two. Now, um, the beauty of this here against a cover two is you can also put your running back on a Texas route to kind of create a middle of the field read. Uh, and then that will also allow some other stuff, which we'll show in a second. But as you can see, that cloud, as long as it's backed off, is going to play that corner route. So what we need to do is we're going to run this setup uh, to the wide side of the field. So because we are now, um, you know, with our bunch to the wide side of the field, what you're going to see is this cloud flat is never going to be able to get the depth to defend this corner route over the top. It gives us more space for that corner route to be able to run. Now, the other thing that this does is gives us a potential big play over the middle or over the top. And what you'll see here is this streak uh, can burn over the top. Now you see the deep half defenders this year, obviously a little bit of an improvement over last year's game. So just kind of keep that in mind. But when you leave this uh, C route over here, you're going to be able to potentially have yourself a really big play against cover two coverage. You can see here, and you can't quite free form it into the pocket, so we'll let, leave that alone. There's a lot of other ways to beat cover two, and really the beauty of this play is, I mean, you already have a really good cover two beater. As you can see right here, you're getting about, I think, 40, 50 yards against cover two coverage. Okay, so that's cover two, cover three, cover four. Now, if it was man coverage, one of the things you also want to do is, let, is run this to the wide side of the field. The reason why is because by running this to the wide side of the field, this corner route's going to have a lot more room to be able to get open against man coverage. Corner routes, when you run them to the wide side of the field against man, they're going to be better at attacking uh, that man-to-man -man coverage. Whether it be press man, whether it be you know non-press man, this corner route will do a little better job when he has more space uh, to be able to you know, get open, as you can see right there. And again, this can be a potential big play against cover zero or cover one uh, over the over the top. Now, as far as cover two man goes, uh, this is a defense that is becoming a little bit more popular um, where we're having like the two deep halves. If they're using outside thirds, um, this is where I would use, utilize a streak to the slot receiver. But basically you have, uh, and we're not gonna be able to hit it because they're not using outside thirds, but that streak could be a potential option for you if they're putting those outside safeties. This will make a little bit more sense if I utilize this coverage adjustment here. But basically, if they're if they're not having any kind of safety help in a, in a deep half, a lot of times those outside thirds will go to those corner routes. Sometimes the deep halves will as well, but specifically the deep thirds, uh, which is a pretty popular concept for shade down man. You could hit that over the top as well if they're if they're if they're uh, potentially doing something like that. 
Now, let's say you are getting blitzed and you still want to run this play. What I would do is I would uh, block my running back, and then we're going to drag this left side receiver. So what this is going to do is we're still going to have potential big play against against press man-to-man -man coverage. We can hit the corner route, um, you know, and if they're really adjusting, which maybe an adjustment like this, uh, this is pretty common for people to do on the left side. So if they're doing that kind of adjustment, then you always do have uh, potential for your streak to get open. If they don't have safety protection over the top, the streak is a really good option against man. That's why you always want to have uh, a streak on the field, okay? Now, what this is going to do is eventually they're going to play cover zero, right? But they're going to start to uh, shade their coverage over top to try to help, um, you know, the, the deep bomb. So then we want to look to uh, our corner route against a shade over top man coverage. Now, uh, just for sake of the video, uh, obviously practice mode sheds and pressures are crazy. So I'm going to spy these guys. But basically the coverage would look something like this. And we would back, we would block the uh, blitz. So now, if you look at this real quick, you're going to see here that this uh, corner route can be a potential option for you against man coverage. Now, if they press up like that, I'll show you something real quick. So let's say they press up and they're trying to really take away your corner route with press man, -man coverage. This is where you're going to utilize uh, a high point. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold left trigger and L1 at the same time. We're going to high point free form and up and over. And you see that little window where we can hit that over the top of the defender if they're playing you in a press man-to-man -man situation. So that's always something you want to look for um, over the top if that is if that is there. Okay. Uh, and again, it, you're not going to hit it every time. Sometimes like he won't, you know, he won't be there for you. But just like that right there, you see how it gets that over the shoulder catch, and then you have a big play against cover zero, and specifically cover zero when they're pressing you. Okay, so what if they're not pressing you? What if they're shading their coverage over the top? One of the most popular ways that people are shading their coverage in Madden 24 is they are shading inside and over top, which is going to allow this corner route uh, to get uh, a little bit more separation to the sideline. Now, the way Madden plays right now, it's honestly a little bit random in terms of what gets open versus man and what doesn't. You know, and that's why a lot of people like to run the man meta, but... Uh, you could obviously hit your tight end quick to the flat, but you'll see here a lot of times this corner route will be right there for you, and you'll be able to hit that against main coverage. The play corner strike has been one of the best plays in Madden every single year because it forces um, a significant amount of help to one side of the defense, which is then going to basically remove resources that they could use in other parts of their defense. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook, join the Patreon. Link's going to be down in the description below. Ten bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon, all the updates, all the ebooks, everything for just 10 bucks to sign up, head down to the description and